So I'm at home the other day and I get an email from my friends at Super Clean that said, hey Art, can you do another video for us? And I said, sure, what do you got? And my friend Jessica sent me a great box of goodies. Let's take a look. Okay, and in the box, we got some all wheel cleaner. And this stuff is like magic on wheels. And if you have a glass shower and you have those hard water spots on your shower, this stuff. We got some foaming super clean, which is great. That stuff sticks like crazy and all the little creaks and crevices. Best way to clean it. Regular super clean and the squeeze trigger. Got an aerosol of super clean, which is real nice, real handy if you need to get upside down and in tight places. Works fantastic. A second bottle of the original super clean. And this being fall, Everyone has outside equipment and stuff to clean up for the winter. This is going to come in great handy. And one of my favorites, the Super Clean Floor Absorbent, which I have the perfect place for this. I had this old small block Chevy sitting with the transmission on the floor for two years, no problems. I go to put it on the engine stand for storage, and we got a mess. So we'll clean that up. So now it's fall cleanup time. Let's get busy. Okay, and you got a big oily, icky, gooey mess. Floor absorbent. All right, and let's sweep up our oil spill. Did a real nice job of picking up all the moisture. It's super dry, you can't slip on it. Yes, the concrete is stained, but you're gonna have concrete stains when you have oil sitting on concrete for weeks at a time. But the oil itself, what was left on the surface is all dried up. Your electric power tools look like mine. After a while, they just get greasy, grimy gopher guts. Well, let's clean it up. We we'll use the aerosol. And after about a minute of soap time, wiping it off with a dry cloth, looks pretty good. And if you have your shower glass, it's got some hard water stains on it, you can kind of see here. Let me show you a neat trick. All wheel cleaner. And then you just work it into the glass. Let's see if I can back up a little bit. And you let that sit for about a minute or two. You don't want to let it dry on the glass. Just let it do its magic for a minute or two. And we'll hose it off, we'll show you what we got. You rinse the glass off thoroughly and then dry it off. And then all you do is dry it off with a clean towel. And look, you can't even see the glass anymore. It's so clean, no more hard water stains whatsoever. Look at that, isn't that nice? And the best part about it, it's easy. All right, and save the biggest task for last. This is my 22 year old Bullens riding mower that previously we had cleaned up in the spring, but as you can see, uh, it needs some attention. We'll go ahead and hit this with the super clean. We'll get under the hood. 
we'll get all this, we'll get the deck cleaned off. It'll look really nice. And for this one, we'll use the original and the spray trigger and the foaming. And after a nice quick rinse, heck, it looks pretty good. I mean, look at the stickers. Did I mention this is a 22 year old riding lawnmower that's been outside its whole life? Now, is it beat up? Yes. Is it perfect? Oh, no. But for 22 years old, it looks pretty good.